Hey what's going on guys, today we'll take a look at the Fossil Gen 4 Explorist HR smartwatch. This is Fossil's take on trying to leave an impact on the smartwatch market, but did they manage to do it? Let's find out. Let's first talk about the unboxing experience. In the box you will get the smartwatch itself, the magnetic charging cradle and also a user manual. The magnetic charging cradle easily snaps onto your watch and the connection points on the back of the watch are circular which means that you can connect the charger at any angle. It offers quick charging which enables you to charge up your device up to 80% in just one hour. This is really useful and you will see why when I get to the disadvantages but I already gave you a small hint. The watch itself is made out of steel and features three physical buttons. The top and bottom button can be assigned any function that you want and the middle button is used as a home button slash google assistant button and it also acts as a crown which you can use to scroll through the menus on your smartwatch. While I like the crown design, the button is really sensitive and it happened a couple of times that I accidentally activated Google Assistant by bending my wrist. The case size is 45mm and the smartwatch is only 13mm thick, which means that it's not really a bulky smartwatch as we're used to seeing. It is also compatible with any 22mm watch strap, which means that you can change the appearance of your watch depending on the occasion. The touchscreen is 42mm in diameter and it also features an ambient light sensor, which means that it will automatically adjust the brightness of the watch depending on the light intensity outside. This feature also helps to preserve battery. As you probably already know, this smartwatch is running Wear OS, which means that it can connect to your Android or iOS device via Bluetooth by using the Wear OS app. I'm not going to go into too much detail about the setup process because the app really guides you well through it. I will mention that Fossil has included a lot of free watch faces, which you can use in order to change the appearance of your watch. This smartwatch has a lot of nice features which are worth mentioning. It supports NFC, which means that you can use it in order to do contactless payments, which I'm a really big fan of. Even though this smartwatch has a more fashionable look, this does not mean that you sport enthusiasts out there cannot use this smartwatch. It features GPS support, heart rate tracking, and also has a 3 ATM water resistance rating, which in normal words means that it's rainproof and splashproof, but I don't really recommend that you go swimming with it, so don't tell me I didn't warn you. The last thing I want to talk about is my personal experience with the watch throughout a period of a few months. I think that the watch is a really nice design piece and that it really stands out by its looks from other smartwatches. The system is responsive and I never noticed lag on this device. I use it mainly for looking at notifications at a glance and for a little bit of fitness tracking. If you're a heavy user, this smartwatch may not be suitable for you due to the one disadvantage about it and that's the battery life. For me, at the end of the day, I mostly have around 20-30% to 30 of battery left on my smartwatch. This means that you will have to charge it every single night and if you're a heavy user, probably also during the day. The fast charging feature really helps in this case because you can easily give the battery more juice if needed. My final recommendations are that if you're not a heavy user or if you don't mind charging the smartwatch every night or maybe also sometimes throughout the day and you want great features like Google Pay, GPS support and heart rate tracking inside of a really nice looking smartwatch, I would definitely recommend you to check this smartwatch out and there's a link down below in the description where you can do that. My final question to you is what do you think about this smartwatch and what's the best feature of this smartwatch in your opinion? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this video, if you liked it hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment in the comment section down below and consider subscribing in order to be notified when I upload future videos.